Hello. This morning we're going to continue with our study in the Beatitudes, which are to be found in Matthew 5, verses 1 to 11. This is part two. The Beatitudes are the teachings of Jesus <coughs> on what life means and how it ought to be lived. And so we take it from Matthew 5, verse 6. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. These are the words of Jesus. Any mother will tell you that her family's appetites need satisfying every day. Yesterday's righteousness is like the manna in the wilderness. It is sufficient for the day only. And that is why we need to literally hunger and thirst for our daily supply. Now being righteous simply means being right with God and doing what is pleasing in his sight. This is expressed in every avenue of Christian service. Verse 7 Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Mercy, from the Latin miseria cornea, means pity of heart, helping others who cannot help themselves. We should be merciful to others because God is merciful to us. In 1951, the Second World War being f fresh in people's minds, one day while chatting to a customer of mine on, a, on my round, she showed me a, a silver Saint Christopher medallion on a chain. And then she told me the following story. When her only son <coughs> was going off to war, she made a strange request of him. She asked him to be merciful, merciful when he was in combat. Now later when their son came home on leave, he told her this story. One day, while he was on guard, Italian paratroops started to descend on the field where he stood. So raising his rifle, he took aim on one particular paratrooper who was helplessly tangled up in his parachute. When suddenly he remembered his mother's words, be merciful. So, loaning his rifle, he took the man prisoner instead. Whereupon the Italian took the medallion and the chain from around his own neck and placed it around her son's neck, saying in broken English, Thank you, thank you. And next, verse 8. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Again, continuing on my grocery delivery round, a customer paused while she was tending her roses and told me that a down and out man had not on her door and asked 
if she would brew him brew up for him <laughs> i've got my own cup he said <laughs> and proceeded to hand her a filthy mug stained brown from years of bruise <laughs> she went on i took the cup indoors and promptly scoured it until it met with my standard of hygiene before i filled it for him cleansed then filled and lastly in verse 9 blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called the children of God it has been calculated that the world has been entirely at peace for just 10% of its recorded history and today we see the ravages of war in our world <laughs> all peace seeking and peace keeping between nations is highly commendable in the sight of God even more desirable is our personal peace with God because our eternal destiny depends upon it speaking of Jesus from Colossians 1 verse 20 having made peace through the blood of his cross his was a peace not negotiated at a conference but at Calvary not across a boardroom table but on a cross of wood not signed in ink but in the precious blood of the Lamb Romans 5 verse 1 says therefore being justified by faith we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ peacemakers shall be called the children of God because they reflect the very nature of their heavenly father to those who have lost all hope of ever finding peace of soul and mind let us then develop our peacemaking skills looking in the mirror tomorrow morning and saying lord make me a channel of your peace god bless you